on the back of uh, getting a call from our, one of our sales reps, he'd asked me, would I be able to facilitate this golf for coming back from the States, uh, from college, I would have worked with him uh, a bit in the past, getting his bag set up and stuff. And he had five, five, five drivers, I believe at the time. And maybe one or two weren't titlist. Um, he came in anyway and he was hitting a few shots and I said, right, we're going to go through each, each driver. We're going to log information on them and then we're going to have a look at everything and set about a plan and, 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 and make this right. And I was told beforehand that whatever the result was, just give him the club. So I was like, yeah, cool. So he's going away anyway to play in a, in a qualifier over in the UK. And you mean give him the fitting club? Yeah. So I think in, in this instance, it was actually, it was just the shaft, uh, interestingly enough. It was a 915 driver. So I think he came in with two or three of them, but we were able to keep one of the heads um, and then we were able to put the, put the shaft into it, which is great. Um, so that was, that was easy. I uh, went away, he came back, he'd gotten through his first quali qualification. And then we did a fairway and hybrid. I think I had to give him the, the fairway and the hybrid, but then they were just replaced by, by my team who were looking after him. And went off, qualified for the next, the next stage. And that turned, that, that was Paul Dunn, who was in the final round of the, of the, the Open. Um, all those years ago, was an amateur. So it, it was kind of kind of surreal because that was my first maybe influence of a player like that who kind of went on and, and did so fantastically well. And to kind of see the equipment that you fit them for in use at that level on that stage was was pretty cool and quite invigorating for me. I think he's actually that emotional attachment that I was talking about. He's definitely. Uh, I think he still has the shaft. So it just goes to show you that shafts don't wear out. They don't have a sell-by date. And uh, it's, it's done, him, done him a good service, I think. That's really cool that he was using the actual clubs and shafts that were used by hundreds of players in the Titus Custom Fitting Sessions. They found their way to the last group on the last day of the Open Championship. That, to me, is a story to, to tell people that uh, come, come down to Carton House uh, for, for a, a Titleist fit. And it, it kind of it catches them off guard because for some reason, there's I feel that, oh, well, the tour player is using a different product to us when they're not. Um, like, same as the golf ball. Like, uh, the golf balls that we use, Pro V1, Pro V1X, uh, down in Carton House, they could easily have gone on to the tour. 